everyone so we are in Lincoln New Hampshire and we came in last night to resupply fresh ground drove us in we stayed at a trail angel named Chet's house and we're meant to hike out this morning to do Franconia Ridge which is meant to be one of the best days on trail with arguably the best views on trail um, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow but when we woke up this morning and checked the weather we found out that it had changed and now it's going to be raining all day today starting at 11 a.m. We're meant to get three inches, which is a lot of rain. Um, and it's already really overcast. So if we were to head up the ridge, we wouldn't get any of the views and we'd get hit pretty hard with the rain once we got up there. The three days after that are perfectly sunny, no clouds. And so it seems almost stupid to push through it right now and hike up there and get through just to keep making miles when the day after tomorrow is going to be a perfect day with lots of sun. Um, so we went back and forth a bit this morning trying to decide should we go or should we stay and as tough as it is to just sit here and not walk when you want to be walking, um, I don't think we came all this way just to rush through miles to say that we went further faster. I think it's more worth the views right now than it is the distance and so we're staying and I think it'll be worth it when we finally get up there. I think having views on Franconia Ridge will be worth waiting a day or two. And if it pushes back when we get to Katahdin, so be it. All right, we are back where we left off um, on the AT and this river that we came past the day before yesterday is way fuller today after all that rain we got. Uh, it poured pretty hard yesterday and last night and kept raining this morning so everything is wet. Um, but we're only doing three miles today up to the Liberty Springs campsite so we're just gonna get up on the ridge and take our time going up it. Um, and yeah we're just really excited to be at Franconia Ridge. Hefty. Legit. It's all blown in now. How much higher is that? Uh, the last one we already said. Yeah, that's Liberty back there. Oh yeah. We are on Franconia Ridge right now. Um, there are some clouds. It was pretty cloudy when we came up, but they're all starting to blow away and we're getting some really, really good views. It's really, really cool up here. This is probably one of the best views we've had on trail.
All right, we are at the top of Mount Lincoln now, which is yeah. another one of the 4K peaks. Woo. Hold up. <laughs> Woohoo! <Yeah. laughs> it takes a while to rotate. <laughs> steep, boys. So this one right up here is Mount Lafayette, which is another one of the 4K peaks. Wow, look at that plane. That was cool. So that, that other plane just towed up that plane. And then let it go? Yeah, and then it detaches and the other plane kind of flies away and then he just cruises down to the back of the airport. That's cool. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> Tyson, what are you doing? <laughs> so right up there, uh, that's the top of Mount Garfield. No, we're just at a viewpoint. This is the view. Later, see you there. Truck up along. <laughs> All right, so we're coming down from Garfield right now, and the trail. is this. Really? Yeah, so we're just going down this waterfall right now. You can see people coming up from way down there. It's pretty slippery and sketchy. It's kind of cool. Way up there, past that white blaze, is where we came down from. And then we still have all this to go down. Alright, 
so that was South Twin Peak, which is another 4K peak. Um, we're only doing 17 miles today, and we have 6.2 left, and I am beat. These climbs are not meant for someone who's 5'1". These rocks are way too big. It's been such good views today, but you really have to work for them. This isn't easy. He's there and he's big. See the moose up there? He's not really looking at us. Well, he was just staring at us, but he's not anymore. He's eating trees. You see him? I hear I just see his head. Oh, there he goes. The little one. Which way is he going to go? He's crossing. Oh my god, he's so cute. Easy's going to be so mad. So the trail wraps around where this moose is standing. So no matter where we go, we're still seeing him. It's really cool. So yeah, me and uh, me and Stormtrooper just saw a moose. I just walked around the corner of the trail, and there was like a head right there, and I was like ah, and backed up. Um, and it was a moose, but it wasn't like a big scary one. Uh, like the one on the Colorado Trail was. It's just, I mean, he's still big, but he's not fully grown, I don't think. And he didn't have big antlers or anything. But yeah, that was really cool. The trail wrapped in like a U shape um, around where he crossed. And he was just there eating the leaves. And we walked around him really slowly. And it was really cool. She can't see me right now. You can see Stormtrooper right there. I tried calling her name, but she didn't hear me.
which is another 4K peak. I'm coming down this and I just slipped right here where it gets wet at the end. My foot went in there. Um, and if you'd like to know how deep it is, it got me up to just above my knee. And I needed to hold on to the tree to pull my leg out because it was so stuck. Ah, that hurt. And my foot is soaked and really cold. Okay. All right, I am at the mitzvah shelter and everyone's having dinner downstairs now. We wait until they're done, then we get to eat dinner too. Um, but the bunk room's pretty crazy. There's three levels high of bunks. Right, let's see if I can turn this. Yeah, they go three levels high, all the way up there. And there's a library upstairs too. There's another floor over there. There's easy in Ziploc. And if you look down here, that's everyone eating dinner, and it looks and smells so good.